the initial touch points, there's a lot to onboarding, but you also want it to be very simple. And I'm going to bring that back up at the end. So that is really important. So you don't want it to be really overwhelming for your members. But the onboarding experience is, I believe, one of the most critical parts of a community. If you don't get those people or your members in and interacting right away, then they do tend to sit in the background and it's harder to get them to resurface. And so we're going to talk about some of the things that you can do for that. Initial touch points are your welcome email, your start here space, creating an intro video, including a tour of the community. Those are usually two different, two different things, not always, it depends on your community. Holding a one-on-one -on -one onboarding call with a member. That's not always possible. So if you have a massive community, I'm working with one right now that is, they've got a lot of members coming in all at the same time. And because they were, they're migrating from another community platform and it's not possible for them to go one-on-one -on -one with everybody. So in that case, you would host a group onboarding call with multiple members. There's other options that you can do to do that one-on-one -on -one onboarding call. And one of those is to DM them with a video, right? You can do a quick 20 second video, just welcoming them. And that's another way to create that one-on-one -on -one touch point. Creating an onboarding checklist, a challenge for new members to complete. So this we're gonna go over a little bit more as well. I'll show you some examples. Now, mind mapping. This is, I know if you've never done a mind map, this looks really overwhelming. Um, those of you that know me and <laughs> have been with me, I've taught mind mapping. Uh, it's a lot of fun and it's a great way to get a visual of your community. So another way to think about mind mapping, because it's not just this on a screen, you can use sticky notes um, and you can map it out that way. You can use a dry erase board. You can do those kinds of things. This is just a tool that I like to use. Um, it's my standard kind of beginner mind map, not beginner, but beginning your community. So just to show you up close what that looks like, is just the different spaces, what is in those spaces, what you need to create. And then badge ideas, if you want to do with the new badge feature that we have in Heartbeat. So just some badge ideas, depending again on your community, would depend on what you use for that. Onboarding, this is exactly what we just went over, just in a mind map kind of form. 